Hello there, my name is Ismas, and this is what is coming up in the next few days. Uh, we're going to be learning some basic uh, car rigging, uh, how to set up a car like this uh, that can respond to the terrain. And you can see, uh, if I can think, uh, the bumps of this road, uh, this road is a bit too rough. So if I reduced uh, the bumps here, you can see how the car is also responding. Maybe Let me just reduce uh, the strength of this. see the car also responds so we, we, we i'll be showing you how to set up uh, such a basic rig it's not very complicated it's very simple and uh yeah also download this is not a model i made myself it's a very low poly uh, model but uh looks really good i downloaded it from i think let me see if i can get the link where did i find the link yeah i found it from uh, free3d.com and uh, I think the creator of the model is called uh, Stuart uh, very nice model and uh, very nice work so uh, you can download it for free I think yeah so if you want to support the, I don't I'm not sure if there is a way to support this guy but because this is a really really awesome uh, model uh, so but that's what I'm going to be using here and uh, very easy to set up it doesn't require a lot I uh, uh, most of the things you see here I just use to control uh, the kite so uh, I can see nothing too advanced very very easy to set up and I can see if I move this forward uh, the tires also go with the car and uh, if I make changes to the terrain so let me say I add another hump you can see how that response and then we'll also be looking at uh, how to set up a rug doll uh, like this that you can uh, uh, connect to your amateur to your character and uh, have it collide uh, use uh, the physics system in blender to kind of create realistic collisions or accidents uh, like this and uh, this is all kind of set up in real time and uh, you can change it you can change the animation so you can see if I change uh, this Maybe instead of kind of making that bend before it collides with this guy, I can change the can, I can change it so that it just collides. Is that it just hits uh, this ragdoll head on? And uh, let me see. Just go to uh, this keyframe and just push this forward instead of sliding. that should update the animation you can see how that looks yeah I'll be showing you how to set up everything you see here uh, from the from rigging the car uh, setting up this rug doll and uh, then you can also I mean, I'll also be showing you how to connect it to a live to a character uh, so that yeah they take up the animation of uh, the rug doll I can see I can add another object here. Uh, let me add a torus this time. As long as it's a rigid body, uh, let, me, let me have it as an active rigid body. It will be able to interact uh, with this ragdoll. Yeah, then I just have to give it a good uh, and if we make it uh, say passive you can see any physics object you add in here uh, it can uh, be added there and uh, you can see you can easily move uh, the ragdoll to any place, even rota rotate the guy. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, so this is what we're going to be looking at in the next uh, few tutorials. Uh, just breaking up uh, this scene into different parts. 
uh, showing you how to rig this car, uh, the ragdoll, setting up the ragdoll system, and also having uh, a ground like this uh, that uh, can interact with the car as it moves. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, you can leave a, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next few videos.